In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to create videos. These could be videos that you post to YouTube, so you can start a YouTube channel. It could be videos that you add to your web page, to your website. For teachers, this is a great way to support online learning and home-based learning, as well as just providing resources for your students and their parents and family. So you can see I have a pretty simple, kind of short PowerPoint presentation here for a Spanish class. If I want to turn this into not just a PowerPoint presentation, but a video, all I have to do is go to the Slideshow tab. Now, if you have Microsoft 365, then you'll have this option, but also some of the modern versions of Microsoft PowerPoint will also have the Slideshow tab, and this option here is what we're looking for. In the Setup group, you should see Record Slideshow. And if you click this arrow next to Record Slideshow, you'll see that there are a couple of options. We can record from the current slide, or we can record from the beginning. So let's say I'm on slide three. I've been working on that slide to make it better. Then it might make more sense to click and choose Record from Beginning. So let's do that. Now when you choose that option, by default, your webcam should activate, and you'll see yourself here in the lower right corner. If you don't want that, you can just click this button here to turn off the webcam, or maybe you want to keep the webcam, but just hide it temporarily so that you don't see it and aren't bothered by it. There's also a microphone button that you can use to turn off the microphone and then turn it on again if you'd like. In most cases, you'll want to keep that on. Now, in addition to those controls in the lower right corner, what else are we seeing here? Obviously, my presentation itself is here in the center of the screen, and I can advance that by clicking this button here, or go back by clicking this button. But there's other things that you need to be aware of too. Up here in the upper right corner, notice that there's a button that you can click to set the microphone for your video. So this is already set up well for me. The camera as well, you can change which camera is activated when this is clicked down here. I'll just leave the defaults because they look good to me. This button here doesn't do much, but eventually I can use that to clear existing recordings, to get rid of them, to delete them, start over. Here we have notes. If my presentation has notes that I've set up, they can show up here or I can hide them, and that way it's kind of like having a script for myself as I record my video. Down here at the bottom of the screen, we have the slide number that I'm on, one of five, and then a timer. Once I start recording, I'll know how much time has elapsed on the slide and also overall. And then to the right of that, I have some tools. I have a laser pointer tool that I'll be able to move around the screen so that the viewer knows where my mouse pointer is. There's also a pen tool that I'll be able to click on the screen to draw things. And there's a highlighter tool. And as you can see, we can change the color of each of those items at the right. So the pen color, I can make it green if I want to. And then we have an eraser to clean up the mistakes or things that we regret that we've done. Now you'll notice I was able to erase a lot quickly by just clicking and dragging over the things I wanted to erase. Okay, having said all that, I'm ready to start my recording. Let's begin. So I click Start Recording. Hi students, in this video we're going to learn el transporte, the transportation words in Spanish. So let's get started. This is el avión. Okay, so at this point I could just keep talking, I could describe the avión, I could highlight different parts of it, I could point out the wings, etc., and then advance the slide. You'll notice in the lower left corner, this is the overall length of my video recording, and next to it we have the amount of time on this particular slide. So I can just keep talking and doing my presentation, recording my video, el auto, el autobús, and la bicicleta. When I'm done with my presentation, I can click Stop. And if I'm happy with how that went, I can just click this X button. And here I am back in the regular PowerPoint layout. And now, if I go to From the Beginning and just show my presentation, video we're gonna learn. you can see what's happening, you can hear what's happening. Words in Spanish. So let's get started. This is El Avión. I'm gonna tap Escape. Basically, what I've done is I've put in some timings and my voice, and I could have included my face as well using the webcam. And so this now is basically a narrated PowerPoint show, and that's a beautiful way to use this. And I could certainly save this as a PowerPoint presentation and make it available to people. The problem is, if I send this home to students or to parents, if I post it on the internet, do they have PowerPoint at home? Are they going to be able to access this? Is it going to work the way I've set it up to work? 
on their computers. A lot of that depends on do they have PowerPoint, is it set up properly, all of that kind of stuff. So a really good option that we have is to go to File and choose Export. And we have an option to create a video. So I'll choose that. Let's say I want to post this to YouTube for my students and their parents and the general public to watch if I want. I have a couple of options I can choose. Full HD is a great option and that's what I'm going to choose. But notice that you can also do Ultra HD. You can do regular HD, standard, 480p. So we have some great export options for video. Underneath that, I can choose to use the recorded timings and narrations. That's what I just did, is I recorded myself talking, and I recorded some timings of when to advance to the next slide. So it makes a lot of sense to leave that setting the way it is here. Use the recorded timings and narrations. But if you don't want to, you can switch to this, and you can make some changes if you need to here. So I'm going to go with these options and choose Create Video. There's the name of the video. I do have the option of changing the video type. In most cases, I think you'll just want to keep it MP4. That's what I use. But there's also an option of Windows Media Video. Whichever you choose, just click Save. And now Microsoft PowerPoint is combining all of the elements that make up this video. Yes, the PowerPoint presentation, but also my voice, maybe your webcam that shows your face, the laser pointer, or the drawings that you put into a presentation the timings of going from slide to slide, all of that is being packaged together and rendered as a video that's a standalone video. It will not require PowerPoint. It won't require any special software to show or to watch. Let's give PowerPoint a minute or two to finish rendering this video, and then I'll resume my video. Okay, it looks like it's done. The progress bar has finished. So I'm gonna go to my files, to my downloads, there's the video that was just produced, and I can double click on that to open it up. Hi students, in this video we're going to learn El Transporte, the transportation words in Spanish. And this is a video like any other MP4 video. The same format, the same settings, and everything as a typical MP4 video. Look how beautiful the images look. Let's look at how the drawing goes onto the slide. How smooth is that? I could highlight different parts of it. I could point out different features. So this is a great way to produce basically Khan Academy style video tutorials, presentations, other educational materials or professional materials, board meeting presentations, whatever it is that you need to create and have people watch the videos. And think about how you could use this in order to create or build up your own YouTube channel, let's say. You could make all of these videos just using PowerPoint and your voice and your face if you want. And then when you're done, you've got an MP4 that is perfect for uploading into YouTube. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, you can do that through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll learn more about those options in the description below the video.